With 2009 Basketball All-America and two-time Little East Player of the Year, Ashley McFetridge Snedeker, the Warriors posted three 20-win seasons and an overall record of 86 and 27. In athletic six foot two inch center, Ashley became only the third different individual in program history to earn first team WBCA All-America honors as a senior when she was also named ECAC Player of the Year and repeated as WBCA All-District and Little East Player of the Year. As a junior, Ashley averaged over 15 points and eight rebounds, blocked 46 shots, and shot 53% from the floor and was named tournament MVP in leading the Warriors to their first Little East title in 12 years. Eight years after graduation, Ashley still ranks fifth in program history in points with 1,364 and among the top six in virtually every other major statistical category, including second in blocks, third in field goal percentage, and sixth in total rebounds. It is my pleasure to be speaking on behalf of Ashley McFetridge Snedeker. I knew that Ashley was special when I recruited her out of Canton High School almost 13 years ago. There was never a doubt in my mind that we needed Ashley at Eastern to advance our program. And Ashley and her classmates were instrumental in making Eastern women's basketball stay relevant at a regional level. I am forever grateful to her for all she did to enhance the tradition of Eastern women's basketball. Ashley was a part of a special class, which included Christina Amato-Turner, Kate Burnett, and Nikki Mori. Those four made up quite the group. We had so many fun times on and off the court. Although we won many games during Ashley's four years, it was the relationships, team trips, bus rides, team dinners, and yes, practices that we all experienced together that made up many wonderful memories. Ashley worked very hard, was extremely coachable, and was a pressure player, and was a winner in every sense of the word. The thing that stands out to me the most is that she played with such heart and toughness, qualities that might have been lost on others. Although Ashley often played with injuries throughout her career, she never complained. She just kept on playing. I always used to call Ashley, big ol' Ashley. Some of her teammates did not seem to understand that you cannot teach height. And I would often remind them to quit trying to shoot over her. I always felt that Ashley was a, and I were a great fit. She was one of the best post players we've ever had, and she made everyone around her better, including myself. And that is the ultimate compliment for any athlete. Everyone on the team wanted to play with Ashley. Ashley was a tremendous player on both ends of the floor, but most intimidating by blocking shots on the defensive end. Certainly, she never saw a shot she did not want to block. As a freshman, her love of shot blocking got her into foul trouble, and also in trouble with me, as I'm not a fan of blocking shots. I usually designate certain players that are allowed to block shots, and of course, Doug Coach Beardley, she ended up being one of them. Ashley set the tone for all the teams on which she played, especially as a junior and senior, when she had the best two-year span of any player I've ever coached. One of her goals that we talked about was for her to become an All-America player. I was so happy for her when she put the work in and accomplished it. Ashley comes from a great family. Today is a time to celebrate Keith and Cindy's daughter and also for me to thank her family and friends for supporting her decision to attend Eastern those many years ago. Congratulations, Ashley. The entire program is proud of you. It was truly my honor to have been your coach and to see all you have accomplished during your time at Eastern and after graduation. All the Hall of Fames, all the professional and personal successes, you deserve it. I met um, Ashley McFetridge my first day of college. We were actually both in the same dorm, the smallest dorm on campus, Winthrop. Um, I walked past her room and I saw a basketball sitting on the bed. And um, I guess you could say the connection went from there. I obviously poked my head in and asked if she was gonna be on the basketball team and um, she was. So we were um, connected from day one. I definitely think that Ashley held herself back. Being that person that did not want to be in the spotlight and the limelight, she wanted to make everyone else around her better, so therefore it wasn't always on her. Um, I'm not 6'2", so I don't know how that feels, and I'm sure she's felt that before and maybe was uncomfortable with it. So being on the basketball court, it's noticeable, 
So let's try to make everyone else better. And I think uh, we worked hard as a coaching staff to really make sure that she understood that we needed her to stand out and to dominate. She was one of the best basketball players that I ever competed with, but she's also one of the uh, best teammates I ever had as a person. She is, without a doubt, the hardest worker out on the court um, and the person that really leads by example as opposed to just saying well, what you should do. Um, she not only kind of walked the walk and talked the talk, but she really did lead our team um, all four years that we were there. But I think her senior year was really, she knew she needed to be that person and come out and it, she stepped it up. And obviously with the honor she got, it showed. Ashley was without a doubt one of the most clutch players on our team all four years. Um, from the start, as even a fir first year athlete, she was on the court making a big impact um, for the team. She was the go-to player. She um, always came through. If you got her the ball under pressure, she could finish it. Um, and she made the right decisions with the ball. Um, so you knew if you got, you got it into her hands, um, we were gonna be in a good place. I know that she got along with everyone, so that gave her that drive to realize I want to be that person when you need me and you want to count on me. That's me. I need to step up and I need to be that person. I'm not going to let you down. I'm not going to let myself down because it's not a good feeling. You could tell that she had that drive to um, improve her game and I stressed a lot about taking care of your weaknesses and build upon your strengths and Ashley I believe bought into that and she just worked tirelessly to do. I know there was a few practices where she asked that could we divide up from post to guards so that she could work on the game and we, as, a, as I used to say, my bigs, work on that part of our game to make us a successful unit. She had a lot of injuries throughout her four years, but she never sat out. Um, at one point she was playing with two broken hands. Um, she had back injuries, hip, um, but she never would sit out. She was always the first one to step up and, and be on the court for our team. She was a leader in that way. She just really worked hard on working on her drop step, which made her bigger. She used to play what I called small. She just tried to turn and dominate someone where I really taught her to use her hips and her back and her butt and really get into it and drive someone away and put it in. And I think when she got it on that low block, it was basically, I'm scoring, you're not there. And I remember those terms I used to use with her all the time. They're not there. They cannot stop you. No one's going to stop you. And they didn't. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to present as a 2017 inductee into the E-Club Hall of Fame, Ashley McFetridge Snedeker.